happy morning to all happy morning okay uh today we learn about that coordination compound lesson the nomenclature of coordination compound the nomenclature how can you say the name of the complex it's a very important lesson how can you say the name of the complex and we learn that what are the rules which are the rules we have we should be follow the name of the complex which are the rules first you should be find out the simple cation next only goes to the complex cat complex anion am i right i i said that the rules what are the rules if you learn means it can be find out easily what's the name of the complex okay simple cation next goes to the ligand what is about the ligand ligand is a group of an atom it should be attached to the central metal atom okay ligand the next one is sometimes if you have two or more ligands means you should be give the priority as per the alphabetical order okay and next one after finishing the ligand give priority to the central metal atom central metal atom okay after finishing the central metal atom you should be find out the oxidation state of the central metal atom oxidation state that also we learn many times we learn how to find out the oxidation state next after finishing the oxidation state you give the roman letter number to that particular metal central metal atom then finally it goes to outside the coordination entity having some ions that it should be right if you have number of uh, number of number of examples are there we should be we do all the example okay due to the insufficient time we are going somewhat fast okay so try to finish all the example uh, i will give the assignment also try to complete the assignment okay please all of you take the book we can be right right the uh, name of the complex coordination compound as per the iupac rule okay please all of you open the notebook okay we have the last video we learn about the what are the rules what are the rules for the nomenclature of coordination compound uh today we are going to discuss about the what are the examples how can you say the naming of coordination compound by using iu iupac here i am taking one of the examples k4 f e c n six this is one of the example first one example one of the coordination compound how we are going to say the iupac name for this compound okay the the rules and everything we are discussed in today class okay today we are discuss about only the name okay first you should be say this compound which one is a simple cation and next one is a which one is a complex anion like that okay that means this is a simple cation okay 4k plus okay plus f e c n 6 4 minus okay so the first one is what the first one is symbol cation symbol cation okay so the cation what is the cation here the cation is k plus so k plus means we can be say potassium okay potassium the first one is here we give the number here first one is say the potassium second one is here ligand ligand means cn the next one is central metal ion okay this is the number okay the first one goes to where the cation symbol cation second one you should be say the ligand the third one is the central metal ion okay okay we have first we are going to say potassium okay so symbol cation next potassium next one cn 
that means a ligand. Ligand is Cn minus. Okay, ligand. Here, how much number of ligand is there? Six. So we are going to say hexa. Okay, hexa. Potassium hexa. Cn group is amide and then ligand. We already I told you that cyanido, cyanido. Okay. Cyanido. This is an amide and a ligand. Here, the carbon is attached to the central metal ion. Okay, which one is attached to the central metal ion? Carbon. So we can use it as K. K means kappa. Okay, kappa C. Okay, K means what? Kappa, kappa C. Here. And here, this is a coordination number. This is a coordination entity. Here having the third one is that is a what is the third one? Third one. Third one is a ferrite amide ion. One of the ion that is a ferrite. Why we are saying the ferrite means this coordination entity having a negative charge. Negative, negative charge ends with eight ferrite. And the oxidation state for EF is Roman letter 2. Okay. This is the name of the complex. Can you write? Here, how the oxidation state we should be find out. In the previous video, I told you how to find out the oxidation state. Let us we can discuss today also how, how we are going to find out the oxidation state of EF is that is Roman letter 2. That means we can be right. Here. We should be find out this X. Okay. So X plus we should be take the ligon that is cyanide group. Cyanide means which the Cn means value is minus one. So how much minus one is here? Six. So you should be right. Six into minus one equal to this particular complex can be charge. What is the charge? That is a minus 4. Okay. What is the job? Minus 4. Can you understand? You should be find out this. What is the oxidation state for EFE? For that we are going to take the coordination entity. Okay. Here. This one we are going to calculate it. EFE is taken as EX plus ligand 6 having 6 into minus 1. Is equal to minus 4 means this job. So can you say what is the answer? X is equal to minus 4. 6 into minus 1. This is minus 6. Next you go to plus 6. Okay. So X is equal to plus 2. So the oxidation state is what? Plus 2. Can you write? So as per the IUPAC name, what is the name of this complex? Potassium. Potassium. Okay. It's a counter anode. The first number priority goes to potassium. Next up the ligand. Next one is the central metal ion. Okay. First one goes to potassium. Second one ligand. Third one central metal ion. So the name of the compound is the name of the complex is potassium hexacyanide. Cyanide. K means kappa. Here carbon is attached to this Fe, so we are writing K, C, okay. uh, Fe, that is ion, it has the negative charge, negative charge, negative charge, so we are using ferrate. The oxidation state for Fe is 2, so we are using formal letter 2, that is the first name. Okay. What is about the next one? As per your textbook, what is the next one? COnH3 5 times Cl2. Next complex is CO NH3 5 times 4 times sorry, NH3 4 times Cl2 Cl CO NH3 4 times Cl2 Cl Here this is a what complex? This is the cationic complex or anionic complex. Can you see? 
Very good. Okay, so you should be say the charge. Okay, everything you should be say that is CO NH3 four times Cl2 plus plus Cl minus. So it is a it's a complex anionic or cationic. Yes, then we discussed that one. As per this rule, it is a cationic complex. Cation complex. Okay, because the complex here is coordination entity having plus charge. So we are saying cationic complex. This is the symbol anion. Symbol anion. Symbol anion. That here. Give the number. How can you give the number? The first priority goes to here having ligands. What is about the ligands? There is two ligands having. First gives to NH3. Second gives to chlorine. Third gives to cobalt. Fourth gives to chlorine. Okay, chloride. That means these two are the ligand. Ligand means as per the alphabetic order. We are ammonia. We are writing amine. Amine. I told you that ammonia can be written as amine. How much amine is there? Four amine. So the name of the complex is tetraamine. Tetraamine. How much chlorine is there? It is also ligand. Okay. Two. So we are using dichloro. Okay. And dichloro. Chloro. Dichloro. Cobalt. Okay. Cobalt. The oxidation state of Cobalt is three. Okay, that also we can be find out three. And here we should be write chlorine, chloride, chloride here. Yeah. So first we should be say the name. What ligand name? Here having two ligand as per the alphabetical order. First give give to NH three. That means tetra amine, tetra amine, dichloro. Chloride, dichloride, cobalt, cobalt. The oxidation state for cobalt is three. Okay, cobalt is three. Chloride. Can you write? If you are learning the previous video, we are watching the previous video. Then only can we say the name because the reason. There have only the rules. How can we say as per the IUPAC name? How can we say the name of the complex? Okay, as per the rules, I am saying first goes to this is the uh, cation complex. Okay, this is a simple anion. The start of the here the ligand. First priority goes to ligand. Second ligand. Third center of the ion. Next one ion. Okay. This is about the uh, this complex. And how can you find out the coordination? Here, one second, I am explaining you how much ligand is there. Four ligand. That is four amine. Four amine we can use tetra amine. Tetra amine here. Chlorine. How much chlorine is there? Two chlorine. So chlorine should be right. Chloride. Chloride. How much chlorine is there? Two. So we are using dichloride. Cobalt. The oxidation state for cobalt is plus three. Okay. Three oxidation state. Plus three oxidation state. And about one of the chlorine is outside present. If you are using chloride, then find out the oxidation state for uh, cobalt. How can you find out the oxidation state? That is, we can be write the equation. First, you take this complex. Okay, take the complex. X cobalt. We don't know, so we are taking X. X plus uh, ammonia. It is a neutral ligand, so we are using zero. Okay. How much is zero? Four into zero. So four into zero plus next one. I told you about the chlorine. Is it having the one star minus one? How much chlorine is there? Two. So we are using two into minus one equal to what is the charge? Yen their charge. That is the plus one. Okay. Yen their charge is what? Plus one. Plus one is the charge. So you need how? We should be find out the answer. X. Plus four into zero is equal to zero. Zero two into minus one is equal to x minus two. Equal to plus one. 
x plus 3. x is equal to plus 3. This is the this, this is the oxidation state for cobalt. Like this method we can be uh, very hard. So everything is over. That is the first one is about the lignol. We are seeing tetramine, correct? Tetramine. Second goes to dichlorido. Dichlorido. This is also correct. Next one is what? Cobalt. Cobalt is also correct. The oxidation state of cobalt is plus three. This is also correct. Okay. Next having chloride. Chloride. This is the IUPAC name. Here. Yeah. Have it out. Next one. Example is the third example. You burn question. It's the third example of coordination number. We are using the CR metal. CR is chromium metal. Which metal we are using? Chromium metal. The CR EN thrice. CRF6. Okay. This is one of the complex. You should be say that here are two, two complex. So one complex with coordination, two coordination, coordination entities there. Okay, you should be say that two name. Okay. The first one is goes to this is imagine this is a maybe 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 it is a, a cation, cationic complex, it may be an anionic complex. It can be right like that. C R E N thrice. C R E N thrice. Here, that we write the coordination number of chromium is plus three plus. Here, C R E F six three minus. Okay. First, we are taking first one. What is the first one? What is about the cation complex? First, we have the cation complex. That is C R E N thrice C plus three plus. Okay. About the ligand. What is about the ligand? Ligand. Is there any about the E N? What is about that E N? Ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine. Okay. Don't forget that. Ethylene E N means what? Ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine. E N means ethylene diamine. It is also uh, bilateral ligand. Okay, bilateral ligand. Ethylene diamine is also a yeah? bi. Bi means two. Bilateral ligand. Ligand. Okay. So we are using uh, for E N. We can be used as. We cannot write ethylene diamine. We cannot write that ethylene diamine. For that ligand is how much ligand is there? En how much ligand? It's a two ligand. So we have to write by writing tris t r i s tris. Okay, it is ligand itself containing a great prefix. Di used as an alternate prefix. Okay, so it can be used as what? Three ligand we are having. Three ligand. So we are using what? Tris t r i s. Percentage of tris, tris means three. Okay, tris. And also, if we can be written as uh, for ethylene diamine, we can be written as ethane one comma two diamine. Okay, ethane one comma two di diamine. Okay, diamine. Clear? Then, next about central metal ion. This is a central metal ion. It is a chromium. It is an anionic complex. How can you find out the oxidation state for this complex? Oxidation state. Chromium is taken as X. Ethyl diamine, the number is 0. So, X plus 3 into 0 equal to 3 plus. Otherwise, we can write plus 3. X 
is equal to plus 3. This is the oxidation state for chromium. Okay. So, how can we say the name? Can you say the name? First one complex, can you say the name? We can be written as E and we should be write this. Inside the bracket, we should be write Ete 1 comma 2 diene. What is the next one? Chromium. What is the oxidation state of chromium? Plus 3. So, we can be written as the name. This Ete diene. Next one is what? Which element is there? Which metal is there? Chromium. The oxidation state of chromium is 3. So we are using normal letter 3. And next one, next. Okay. Next one is next complex. This is an anionic complex. Which complex? Anionic complex with a cell minus charge. So starting the ligand first. How much fluorine is there? 6 fluorine. So, 6 fluorine should be right. Hexacyanide. Hexacyanide. Here, you should be used the 8 because the charge is negative. So, chromate. The chromate of oxygen state is 3. Okay. This is the name of the complex. Okay. The next one is having a lot of example. How can we say the example? More example. This is a very important for the one question. So try to work out at least uh, at least five. Okay. Due to the insufficient time we are using, we are learning uh, some of them only. Okay. Remain if you have any doubt, we can discuss later. Okay. Anyhow, the first one is uh, AG NH3 twice CL. This is one of the complex. Next, the more example, one of the complex AG NH3 twice CL. Example, how can we say the name of this complex? Okay, I told you that before the coordination entity, there is no material. There is no metal is there. Okay, before the coordination entity. Okay. Before the coordination entity, there is no metal is there. So we are giving the first priority goes to ligon. First priority goes to where? A ligon. Next one goes to the central metal ion. The third is the chloride ion. Okay. Then how can you say the name? That ammonia can be written as amine. Okay, amine. How much ammonia is there? Two ammonia. So we are using diamine. Diamine. Here silver. Okay, so metal is what? Silver. Silver. The oxidation state of silver is one. Okay. So we are using one. Roman the one. Here chloride. Okay. This is the name of the complex. Okay. Suppose chlorine is act as a ligand means we should be say chlorido. But it is not a ligand. Okay. It is present on the outside of the coordination entity. Okay. Outside the coordination entity. So we are saying chloride. Okay. Can you say the name? What's the name? Can you say? Diamine. Diamine. Silver. One. Chloride. Diamine. Silver one chloride here. Yeah. Okay, next one example. CO cobalt EM means and now only I told you that it is ethylene diamine. Okay, so it should be used what? Two means bis. Three means tris. Okay, then CO EN twice CL2 CL. Here, try to understand that this is a ambidental ligon. Okay, ambidental ligon. Ethylene diamine. Ethylene diamine can be written as ethane 1 comma 2 diamine. Okay, okay. ethane 1 comma 2 diamine. Okay, here we have two ligon. This also ligon. Cl2 also ligon. 
ये नाम से लिखा है हमारे एस पर द अल्फाबेटिकल अल्फाबेटिकल फर्स्ट प्रयाती गोस्ट क्लोरो क्लोरिडो क्लोरिडो ओके ये चली ये गोस्ट सेकंड क्लोरन सी गोस्ट फर्स्ट वन ओके सो वी कैन बी से डाइ क्लोरिडो ये तीन डाइ में क्या करना है इफ यू आर एंड टू मींस बिस थ्री मींस टर्स so to so we are using this dichloride dichloride yet the dye in dye in the writing what this inside the bracket we should be right ethane 1,2 diamine ethane 1,2 diamine okay after that what After that, cobalt. Cobalt. I'm going to do the oxidation state of cobalt is what? Three. Okay. Cobalt. Cobalt three. Here I'm in chloride. Can you see the name? First, I add the goes to chlorine. This is both of both of them are ligand. First goes to chlorine. Second, ethylene diamine. Third, seven metal ion. Fourth, we are looking as per the number we should be saying. Okay, the next one, the transition element also we learn that one is the next one. Cu, N H C three four times S O four. Cu, N H C three four times. Cu N H three four times S O four. This is one of the complex. Yeah, this is one of the complex. How can you see the numbers? Before the coordination entity, there is no metal is there. So first priority goes to ligand. Ligand the first priority. After the ligand, you to the metal. Central metal ion. Central metal atom. Next ion three. Can you see the name? Ammonia. Ammonia can be written as amine. Okay. There is four ammonia is there. One means mono, two means di, three means tri, and four means tetra. Okay. Tetra. Here, yeah. tetra amine. Here, yeah. tetra amine. Who is the center metal atom here? Copper. Copper. What is the oxidation state of copper here? Oxidation state. Formal letter two. Sulfate. The sulfate will be five hundred no problem. Copper is you are taking X. X plus ammonia four into ammonia is zero. Neutrally gone. Plus. This is what here the sulfate is what is equal to. We are writing is equal to minus two. Okay. So X is equal to plus two. Can you write? This is the oxidation state. Next one is as per the textbook. What is the next one? CO CO three. It's a carbonate. Yen H three four times Cl. Okay, here the both two are the ligands. Both two are the ligands. This is the cobalt is the central metal ion and chlorine Cl is the chlorine. Am I right? The first one Yen H three. As per the alphabetical order, which one is the Uh, which which ligand can be written first? That means 
ये अमोनिया कैन बिटनस अमाइन एंड कार्बनेट बी कैन बिटनस कार्बनेट हो कार्बनेट हो इट्स ओनली सो फर्स्ट पायर बी कार्बनेट और अमाइन अमाइन सो दे आर गिविंग नंबर वन नंबर टू कार्बनेट हो नंबर थ्री सेलर मेटल आइटम दैट इज अ कोबाल्ट नंबर फोर क्लोराइड ओके हाउ कैन यू से द नेम here four ammonia is there so we have ammonia can be written as amine how much ammonia is there four ammonia tetra tetra amine okay here are the single carbonate so we are writing carbonate okay carbonate carbonate cobalt Cobalt. The oxidation state of cobalt is three. Cobalt is three chloride. Have any doubt? Have any doubt? Oh, next one is the as per the textbook. The next one is the fifth one. Next one is the fifth one. C R. The chromium metal Cr N H three thrice H two O thrice Cl three. Okay. Yeah. Cr Cr means one of the chromium metal N H three ammonia, three ammonia and three water molecules and about chloride is there. So, how can you give the priority? How can you give the priority? Both the two ligands. Like before the coordination, and there is no metal is there. So we are giving the priority to ligand. Here are two ligand is there. How much ligand is there? Two ligand. One is amine and one is an aqua. Water can be written as aqua, am I right? Aqua. And I just told you that. Water is is a neutral ligand. It can be written as aqua. Ammonia is also neutral ligand. It can be written as amine. Clear. So how can you write the names? How much? As per answer, we got it. This is the first one. Aqua is the second one, and the central metal atom is the third one, and the chloride is the fourth one. So how can you say the name? Three ammonia is there. One means mono, two means di, three means tri. Am I right? So tri amine, tri amine. Here are the three water molecules. Water can be written as aqua. So tri aqua. Chromium. What is the oxidation state of chromium? Three. They are chloride. Have you doubt? Have you doubt? Okay. Next one is the sixth one. How can you say the name? K three. Yes, E. K three. Yes, E. C N five. N O. Okay. Here, before the coordination entity, one of the metal is there. Am I right? The previous example you just uh, check it there. Before the coordination entity, there is any metal is there? No. But here, before the coordination entity, there have only metal is there. So here the first priority goes to potassium. Okay, potassium. Here, cyano. Here, this cyano, we are using a cyano, cyano, okay, cyano. How much cyano is there? Five. Five is penda, penda cyano. Okay, penda cyano. Then we can write as nitrosyl, nitrosyl. Okay, nitrosyl, and this complex is about. This complex is about this is a plus charge and this is about the minus charge. So ferrate minus charge means we should be right ferrate. The oxidation state of this is 
plus 2. So you are seeing formal letter 2. Formal letter 2. Okay. So shall we write down? The first priority goes to potassium. Second goes to cyanide. Third goes to nitrosyl. Fourth goes to ferrate. Okay. Ferrate 2. Okay. Can you write the name? Potassium. Potassium. How much cyanide is there? 5 cyanide. So you can write that as penta cyanide. Here, this carbon is attached to, it's ambidental ligand. Am I right? I told you that CN is ambidental ligand. Carbon is attached to Fe. So you can write as kappa, kappa, K, KC. Okay, KC. And what is the next one? Nitrosyl. N-I-T-R-O-S-Y-L. Nitrosyl. Fe. Ferre. Because it is a negative charge. Negative complex. That is an anionic complex. So ferre. Ferre 2. NC with 8. Okay. This is the, about the complex. Complex name. The next one is uh, one by one you should be learned. Okay, at least you should be right and do it. If you have any doubt, please call me. Okay. It's a for the one way question. Sometimes it may be asked for the one way one more question. Next question. Sound one. Actually, it's a sound one. N A two. Okay, NA2 NI EDTA. Okay, EDTA. What is about the EDTA? Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Okay, this is called what? EDTA. For this one, we can write on as as per the IUPC name. We can write on as 2 comma 2 single dash, 2 double dash, 2 triple dash, ethane 1 comma 2 diethyl, diyl dinitrothyl, tetraacetate, acetato, acetato. As per the, I think that the page number, please refer the page number. The page number 137. This goes to page number 137. 137 there is in the tabular column. Having ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid. Okay. EDTA. Ethylene diamine tetraacetate. Tetraacetate. What is the IUPC name of that common? 2. 2 single dash. 2 double dash. 2 triple dash. Ethane 1 comma 2. Diel. Dinitroil. Tetra acetate okay. That is a name. So you should be uh, learn that one. And the first priority before the coordination entity, before the coordination entity, this is the coordination entity, they are having one of the metal, that is a sodium metal. So we are giving the first priority to sodium. Next one is a ligon. Okay, ligon is Next goes to central metal ion. This is central metal. So, how can you say the name? First one is a sodium. So, you are using sodium. 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 Next goes to ligon. EDTA. What is the name? How can you write the formula? 2 comma. 2 single dash. 2 double dash. 2 triple dash. Okay. Then bracket you should be right. Ete. Ete. 1, 2, diel. 1, 2, diel. Dinitrol. Dinitrol. Next one. Tetra. Acetato. Acetato. Here, 
nickel the center metal atom is nickel the nickel here sodium has a positive charge and this carbon has a negative charge so ends with nickelate 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 the oxidation state of nickel is 2 so you are writing 2 ok nickel uh, the remaining at least you should be uh, 10 more hari I think that 10 more, 10 more hari you should be try to find out that if you have if any doubt please, please call me ok uh, and ask about the assignment uh, remaining remaining try to write remaining any 3 that means I think that 7 over 8 or 9 or 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 or 16. You should be right. Any 3. Okay. Any 3 for our assignment. Try to complete. Okay. Thank you all of you. Thank you. Have a nice day.